Hello everyone, today's video is about the part 2 of how to customize your 42 line digital planner. I'm going to walk you through how to customize the templates in the planner. We'll first talk about how to customize the built-in templates and I'll show you how to add your own templates to the planner. Then we will finish up with how to use the custom sections in the planner. If you haven't watched part 1 of this tutorial, you can check out that video here. The planner I use in today's demo is 42 line minimalist digital planner in landscape mode. It doesn't matter which planner you use, you can apply to your planner the techniques I'm going to demonstrate in this demo. As we already know, the planner itself is a PDF document. We can't directly edit the content of the planner, but there are a few workarounds. First, Let's see how to change the entire template. Let's say I want to change the original habit tracker to a circular habit tracker. I can insert this circular habit tracker image into the planner and place it over the original one. As you've noticed, the circle habit tracker now covers my notes. That's okay. We can click arrange and send to back. Now, if we want to move the nodes to fit into the circle habit tracker, make sure to first uncheck images under the lasso tool. So we won't pick up the habit tracker when playing with nodes over it. But we could still pick up the habit tracker if we just tap on it. In this case, just tap somewhere else to deselect the habit tracker. This is not ideal. Let's hope GoodNotes will come up with a feature that allows us to set image as background. Well, what if I just want to make a few changes to the template? Let's say um, I just need to change some text of the template. For instance, I want to change the watch list to a podcast tracker. First, Let's change the template name on the index page. As I mentioned in the previous video, we can use the white ink to remove the original one. And let's use the text tool to give it a new name, Podcast Tracker. Now let's go to this template, change the heading like we just did. And let's make a few more changes. Next, let me show you how to add your own templates. Let's say I'm a teacher and I made a attendance tracker myself and I wanted to add it to my planner. Well, you can add your own template anywhere you like in the planner. In this demo, I'll add the attendance tracker right after the routine planner. Okay, let's go to the routine planner. Click the plus icon here. Import, Downloads folder, find the attendance tracker. So I've previously saved it in my files app. You can upload your templates to iCloud, Google Drive, whatever works for you. Okay, now we need to create a link to the attendance tracker on the index page so it's easy to access it. Let's go back to the routine planner find an empty space and 
type attendance tracker. Tap on it. Add link. If your pop-up looks like this, you can click link to document. Okay, let's put this link on our index page. Say here. Well, if you previously deleted some templates you don't need, you can put it in any of those empty spots. Now, if we click attendance tracker, it will take us straight to that page. Well, you may wonder why not create the link on the index page in the first place. Let me explain it. As we can see, the default setting is links to next page. You can click to link to any page in the planner but it's kind of silly to scroll the whole document to find out the attendance tracker. That's why I created the link on the page before the attendance tracker, so it links to the next page, which is attendance tracker. I hope it makes sense. I would suggest always creating internal links in the planner this way. Okay, let's get to our final topic, how to use the custom sections. As you can see, we have two paper types for the custom pages, rule paper and blank paper. You can choose the one you like. The custom sections are like a blank notebook where you can put whatever you like there. If you are a content creator, you can put Instagram ideas or TikTok ideas. If you are a student, you can take it as quick notes for a particular subject. If you are an event planner, you can plan and organize your events there. If you're a small business owner, you can put business plan, marketing plan, orders, products, inventories, etc. All right, this is how we can customize the templates. I hope you find it helpful. In the next video, which is the last part of this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to style your planner to add a personal touch. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned.